Hello, my name is Eddie Holford, and welcome to the presentation for Expresso to You Franchise Opportunity. Uh, my name is Eddie. As I said, I'm the president and founder of Expresso to You, and I launched this company in 2015 uh, with just one van. And what I had found was there was an absolute niche in this industry that was not being fulfilled. And what I found was pretty um, exciting because uh, when I launched this business, I had an idea of a way that I could actually market it and uh, have some terrific results. And after doing that, literally within five days, we were profitable. And what I mean by profitable was meaning that uh, the cost of everything that I would invest on a monthly basis was then paid for within the first five to seven days. So um, I knew that, hey, look, with this opportunity, um, the natural option was for us to grow this company and to, to grow it fast. And I knew that franchising would be the fastest way that we could grow our brand. So I did some research and I found that truly there are three basic components that every business that is going to be successful must have. You must have products that are in high demand, that are priced to sell, and products that are priced for for profit for the business. And without those, uh, any business is going to struggle, especially in today's very competitive world. So looking at the demand for coffee, we, see, we know that uh, on planet Earth, the only thing that is consumed more every day is water. And every year that equates to a hundred billion dollars minimum being spent in the coffee industry. It is also the second most traded commodity next to oil and gas. And that's pretty astounding. In the United States alone, Americans spend $67 billion on coffee and coffee products every year. That's mugs, coffee, lattes, whatever. And that industry is projected to grow at about eight to 10% through the year 2025. And that's brought to you by Statistica, which is a very reliable forecasting company. Um, if you live in any one of these regions, as you'll see pop up over here on the right side, uh, these are some of the most caffeinated cities in the country. So if you live anywhere in any one of those cities or remotely in suburbia, even way out, you are in an area that is booming for for coffee. So you're in a great place. Look at the price of a latte, a 20 ounce latte in most every coffee shop is around $5.15. And that's probably on the low average, but we like to keep things, you know, uh, at the absolute minimum. If you add anything to that, like flavors, the price is more than likely to go up or end up around $5.95 or more. Uh, we have some latte drinkers that literally drink um, seven and eight dollar drinks every single day. That means that the world is accustomed to paying these types of prices for these specialty coffee drinks. And so we're not surprising anybody with that. Now, if we look at, you know, the, the profit in a latte, the cost to create any double shot 20 ounce latte from our company or any other company is right around 90 and 95 cents, maybe a little bit more, uh, you know, worst case scenario, dollar five. Uh, that includes the cup, lid, milk and flavors. With this low cost of creation makes profits and espresso drinks one of the highest profit products that you can actually ever sell. Do the math. It's $5.95 minus 95 cents. That means every time you make a white chocolate mocha that's a 20 ounce or you make five bucks. Today, people get their espresso drinks in virtually two different ways and only in two different ways. They go to a retail location or they go through a drive through. Uh, to date, there is really nobody that is doing what it is that we're doing here in America. Looking at a traditional coffee shop, there's some limits. You're limited to one location. You're limited to the immediate area residents or uh, what say people that work in that specific area only. The rents are huge. Typically, there's going to be in downtown areas uh, where rents are anywhere from $3,500 to $10,000 a month for these little coffee cafes, you know, um, plus you've got employees, equipment, furnishings, utilities. Typically, you're looking at an investment of about $200,000 to $500,000. It requires uh, a very large cash investment and you must have 
pretty much excellent credit if you need any kind of financing. For drive throughs uh, you're typically going to have some long lines. Uh, you're also, again, limited to the immediate location and however many people drive by your facility. Uh, you must have just some land to actually put a drive through on, uh, which takes some building permits and stuff like that. You also have to have multiple employees that are needed inside of those units to, to make it actually uh, make sense. Uh, usually your rental fees are, are going to be at the very minimum $1,000 um, plus. And of course, there's always the et cetera's that go with, with that. You're going to have to get some zoning permits for, you know, um, cars. You know, when you're dealing with a drive through it's, just, it's a lot more complicated than what you may think. You have to have enough space for 10 cars to line up without impeding any kind of traffic. So you have to maintain all of that, too, as well. So drive throughs are good. Don't get me wrong. But again, they take a, sub a substantial amount of capital to to launch. And if you look at our Espresso to Mobile Cafe, uh, we can serve residential people at their houses, at their apartments, RV parks, and we can serve you at businesses in the in the parking lots of offices, factories, hospitals, car dealerships, and we create daily routes for consistent sales. We also can do event services, weddings, farmers markets, sporting events, social gathering parties, fairs, and the like. So we are. Uh, extremely mobile, meaning, meaning absolutely completely mobile. There is no bad locations. We also offer kiosk and cart franchises, as you know. Uh, these are semi-permanent and designed to stay in pretty much one location, like a retail establishment, but without all of the overhead expenses. Uh, building lobbies are great places for our coffee carts. Uh, churches, parks, outdoor events, farmers markets, um, they are semi, like I say, semi permanent and can relocate very quickly if need be. So there are some benefits to doing doing that aspect if you if you choose. Uh, looking at the difference between a sole proprietor versus a franchise owner, sole proprietor must figure out what works and what doesn't, and we mean absolutely everything. They got to figure out how to hire, fire, market, brand, customer acquisition. Uh, supply chain, sales, uh, internet marketing. There's just so much to actually learn on your own if you're going to build a business by yourself. You also have to learn the licensing and legal hoops that you have to jump through. Um, it is typically very difficult to get financing for any type of traditional type of restaurant uh, without a very large cash infusion. Um, and the overhead costs are going to be at least $5,000 and up. With a franchise owner, the blueprint is done for you. There is no waste of your time or your money on figuring out what processes work and work well. The franchisees can focus on serving customers and finding uh, profitable event opportunities that, that can benefit you, as well as we supply you with event opportunities too. There is no legal or licensing headaches that you need to learn. Uh, there's minimal operational duties, and it is very Easy. It's much easier, I should say, to get finance uh, for a mobile solution than it is with a retail solution. So some things to consider is what is important to you in a business opportunity? What is it that you're looking for? Are you looking for flexibility? Uh, do you, you want some variety in your daily work and the things that you do? You want to be able to call your shots when you work and when you don't work? Uh, have a business that's flexible to your life and to your schedule? Um, do you want to work full time or part time? And, uh, you know, you're in control of your own income level. If those are things that uh, you, you haven't asked yourself. You should have an answer for all of those questions, because that's hugely important when you're deciding to start a company or a business of any kind. Um, our, our, our franchise opportunity is unique and it's unique in a number of good ways. Uh, we are a mobile business and we are adaptable to any change in any market. There is no bad locations. The pandemic caused us to pivot, but it was very easy to pivot and just simply start marketing to people at their homes, which means that, hey, we didn't even start with residential um, deliveries, but now it's part of our, our business. There's literally no, uh, I want to say, minimal overhead with our business uh, we don't have i don't have any employees i don't pay any rent i don't have to pay for utilities or furnishings and the, there is a very low barrier to ownership minimal cash investment 
challenge credit does work and we we can show you a path to do that and again you get to work as little or as much as you want to so everyone wants to know about the money i'm going to show you some a profit ca uh, calculator here and it's going to show you what you would make if you're only profiting three dollars and fifty cents and or four dollars and fifty cents per cup so looking at this graph right here if you work seven days per week on the left hand side there and you only made three dollars and fifty cents per cup and you sold 50 cups you would make sixty one thousand dollars per year if you sold 75 it would be ninety two thousand dollars per year and if you sold 100 cups a day it'd be 123 thousand dollars per year and if you made four dollars and fifty cents per cup the the numbers as you can see are there you also need to understand that this is in an absolutely perfect world you did the exact same sales every single day without fail and and without diversion so results are going to vary for every franchisee um you know successful results are a combination of effort skill and time and this does not uh show this this also this graph doesn't show you any sales from any other drinks that you are also going to be able to sell like energy drinks or any energy drink concoctions that, that are really big right now that also are very very profitable those are in addition to selling coffee so um, that is the breakdown of how much money you can actually make in this business one of the things i like to to share with you is that opportunities uh, i believe are never lost they are searched for by other people and put to good use when they are found. This is a fact and it's kind of indisputable. So when you are thinking about starting a business, think about that. Somebody is going to pop up in your area doing what it is that we're doing sooner or later. The sooner you get involved with our company, the better you'll be, the more clients that you'll have and the bigger your business will be. So we look forward to answering any questions if you have any questions please contact me directly eddie at expresso to you.com or you can give me a call directly at 971-207-4833 we look forward to you joining our team and helping us with our mission and that is to change the world for the better one cup of, at a time and we give a lot of money back into our local community to to people and organizations that uh, we feel we can help and make a difference. So that is one of the reasons why we started this business. And it's one of the reasons why we continue this business. Again, Eddie, thank you very much for your time. And we will look forward to you and see you again at the top. Have a great day.